Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, let me start by saying thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Meredith and I really hope you'll consider subscribing to join this amazing community that we have here on YouTube. We're just gonna jump right into today's ultimate spring cleaning video. If you enjoy, please don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button so that you never miss a video. And please stick around till the end for an exciting announcement. So the first thing that I'm doing is stripping off the bed sheets from my bed and you'll notice that I had to let in some natural light. I just can't stand when my rooms are dark so these paper shades that I have all over my house definitely let in a lot of natural sunlight which is very necessary this time of year. <laughs> You are going to see in this video several times that I am doing laundry. I just feel like even as a single person, um, it is so difficult to stay caught up on laundry and I don't know if that's because I change my clothes two and three times a day because I go to the gym and I'm constantly washing like sheets and towels, but I just feel like I can't stay on top of it. I'm sure those of you that are moms out there totally understand what I'm saying. <laughs> The next thing that I'm gonna do is just give my plants a really quick water. Um, I always forget to stay on top of these and I kill plants pretty frequently, so um, good on me for remembering to give them a quick water. Now I'm just getting ready to clean my stovetop. I use this glass cooktop cleaner and a sponge here from Grove Collaborative and I find this to be one of the most satisfying things to clean. Uh, there is nothing better than seeing a shiny glass cooktop, but I kind of feel like sometimes I overdo it. I well, you'll see me do this. I'll clean it with this cooktop cleaner and then I go back in and spray my whole stove down with a multi-surface spray, which that extra step may or may not be necessary, but I really like to make sure that my stovetop is sparkling, clean, and beautiful. Now is a great time to say that if you are enjoying this cleaning motivation and you want more cleaning motivation on a daily basis, please make sure you're following me on Instagram. I will post lots of cleaning motivation over there on my Instagram stories as well. So the next thing that you're gonna see me clean here in a second is the inside of my oven. And I got this idea from watching uh, one of Tiffany Beeson's recent cleaning videos, which by the way, if you guys aren't subscribed to her, you totally should be. She posts really amazing cleaning motivation. But I used to start with another one of these sponges from Grove Collaborative and the Method degreaser spray, which to be honest, I don't think works really well for the inside of the oven. I think for smaller, sticky and greasy messes, it does a great job. 
but you'll see in just a minute that I had to turn on the oven cleaner. I have a self-cleaning oven and I just got so frustrated I had to do that. And I will say it actually worked and the result was super satisfying. So the next thing that I'm doing here is just wiping down my granite countertops. I'm using the Method Daily Granite Cleaner and I really like this. I don't use it every single time I wipe down my countertops. Most of the time I use a multi-surface spray, but I feel like the granite cleaner does such a nice job of making your granite countertops really shine. So I have this console table or sofa table here that's next to my stairs, which by the way, the only reason they look like that is because they currently have not been painted. Um, so hopefully in the next couple of months you will see these stairs completely finished and looking super beautiful. But this console table or sofa table, I really like it. but. I have such a problem with glass furniture. It shows every bit of dust. I have several pieces of furniture that I bought that have glass tops and I feel like I will never buy glass tops again because it shows literally everything. Thank goodness for Windex. Next, I am getting started on my bathroom. Um, this is my downstairs bathroom. I have two bathrooms in my house, but this is the one that I use the most frequently. So I am using the Method anti back spray just to make sure that everything is disinfected really well. Um, I just wanna wipe down all of the surfaces and get to cleaning the toilet. And I had actually already done the tub, so yay me, didn't have to do that today. <laughs>
are still watching, just wanted to say thank you so much for being here today and spending the day with me. Uh, comment below, what are you doing while you watch this video? Are you cleaning with me? Are you sitting on the couch relaxing? Uh, let me know what you're doing in the comments and don't forget to stick around till the end of the video for a really special announcement. So I totally lit this candle because at this point having that oven clean on was really stinking up the house and so I needed some fresh scents in here ASAP. <laughs> I'm moving on to unloading the dishwasher and making sure that all of the clean dishes are put away. So I have a little hack for you guys who want to clean out your dishwasher. I do this about every six months. Just a splash of vinegar and a few drops of essential oil. I'm using an orange scent. And just run your dishwasher like normal and you would be amazed at how amazing it smells when it's done. So I would say making my bed is definitely one of those top three to four chores that I absolutely hate doing. I know it's necessary and having clean sheets is the best feeling in the world, but something about having to make a bed by yourself is just terrible. Hands up in the comments if you agree with me. So I had to throw in a little clip of my robot vacuum doing his thing. Honestly, this little guy really helps me out so much, I can't even tell you. If you don't have a robot vacuum, you really should get one. Next I'm moving on to wiping down all the faces of my cabinets. 
I have to do this pretty frequently because as you can see, right now I don't have any cabinet poles. I'm still trying to decide what I want on these cabinets. I'm pretty sure that I figured it out. So hopefully in the next few weeks, you guys will be able to see what those look like on. But I'm just wiping this down because I get so many fingerprint and you know dirt and grime on the cabinets from actually touching them with my hands. So just using a multi-surface spray and just doing a wipe down with a microfiber just does the trick. So next I am moving on to doing one of my favorite chores to do and that is cleaning out my kitchen sink. Um, to do this I just use another one of those sponges from Grove Collaborative and a little bit of the Barkeeper's stainless steel, I guess it's like a cream cleanser, almost like a soft scrub. But this works so well and leaves your stainless steel sink so shiny. I just love the way it looks when it's done. So the next thing that I'm going to do is clean off this little area I have here with my dish soap and my hand soap and I got this white tray also from the Grove Collaborative which is where I get all of my cleaning products. You can always find in my description box a link for Grove Collaborative. Um, use my uh, referral code there to get yourself a free set of Mrs. Meyers cleaning products. It's worth $35 so definitely don't want to miss that. We have moved on to day two. Yes, that's right, two days of spring cleaning and of course, more laundry. Are we ever really finished with our laundry ladies? I mean, come on. So the next thing that I'm doing is mopping my floors and I am using this concentrate from Mrs. Myers in the honeysuckle scent. I'm just adding it to my mop bucket with some hot water and I will also link this mop in my description box as well. If you have hardwood floors, laminate floors, really any kind of floor that you don't want to get super saturated with water, then this mop is perfect. It's microfiber, you wring all the excess water out and it does such a great job of picking up any little dust and dirt that you left behind.
The best part about this mop is that the head comes off so you can just toss it in the washing machine and the mop part is fully collapsible so it makes for easy storing. And nothing is more satisfying than seeing dirty mop water that lets you know that you did a great job. We are now moving on to vacuuming upstairs. I only have carpet in two rooms, so I really don't have to run the vacuum cleaner that often, but I also really love seeing carpet lines with the vacuum cleaner. Uh, comment below if you find carpet lines really satisfying too. I am ending the video today with a sneak peek of my spring decor, which will be in my next video, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. And finally, the exciting announcement that you have been waiting for, I have teamed up with three amazing women to give away a $100 Amazon gift card, so be sure to check out all the rules to enter over on my Instagram, at Mayor Haney. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon with a brand new video. Bye guys.